Hello everybody! In this video I would like to cover some things that were changed in the game with the latest patch. This patch came to us on this Monday. Uh, it is already Saturday, it took me a while to make this video, I know, sorry about that. Well anyway, this patch was a 15GB patch. Really a lot of things were changed or updated. In this video I will cover just few of those things so you have a general idea of what has happened with the game. Uh, Alright, here we go then. Here we have a uh, Space Marine. He has a new updated model now. Uh, it seems that at this very moment he actually shares this model with the Spacefell Orc. In the Classic Warcraft 3 these are two separate models, Space Marine and Spacefell Orc, but at this very moment they share the same model. It is likely that this will be updated in the, in the future, but for now they have the same model. Alright, the other thing is, we have a new Orc racing card. Uh, well, that has, is, is, is really, really weird. I'm not sure if it will stay, li stay like this, but it's possible it will. Because actually this model is used probably just in one custom game, really. But yeah, here we have it. Uh, our updated model is Dwarf Guard. This new Reforged model too. And actually these are, this is, these are all upgraded unit model we received with this huge 15 GB patch. Uh, another thing we have here, we have a lot of new doodads. What you can see here, these are actually new Dalaran doodads. We have here as well new Silver Moon doodads. And what's very interesting about them is actually they don't have a counterpart in the old Classic Walker 3. These are brand new, they came to us with the Reforged. And I'm actually really wondering how they, are tr how they will figure out crossplay with this kind of new things. Because, you know, if this thing is not in the Classic Walker 3, what, what will a Classic Walker 3 player actually see at this point when he sees this building? Uh, it's possible that it will actually create its own counterpart. Like they will recreate this for the classic Warcraft 3 as well. Uh, yeah, I will check out some more of them here. Uh, these are all Dalaran doodads. Uh, there are, I believe there is around 20 of them. 20 of new ones, here are just a few of them, just so you have a general idea. I made a whole video where I covered them all. So these are Dalaran doodads, these are the new Silvermoon doodads. This is just some kind of, you know, gateway. Here we have some Spire, I believe. It looks really nice. Uh, yes, th I wanted to say something here as well. This is a clock tower. Uh, what's interesting about this, I believe that this one is named Silvermoon Clock Tower, but actually there's a clock tower for every single city you visit during the campaign. There's like clock tower for Hardland, there's a clock tower for Strandbrad, there's a clock tower for Underhall, clock tower for Stratholm, and so on. Every single city has its own clock tower and each of them is a unique model. It's really interesting. Something great for um, map creators, right? A lot of new doodads here. Alright, this is another new structure from the Silver Moon. And I will this is all of it. Uh, I mean all of all of it I have in this video. There are there are around 20 of new doodads for the Silver Moon as well. Uh, there are not just new doodads for Silver Moon and from the Dalaran, but actually a lot of new general doodads. For example, the statue of King Tyrannus. That's well doesn't have its counterpart in the classic Walker 3. It's really brand new. Uh, yeah, it looks nice. Let's go for another one. This is, a, this is a lion statue, as you can see, as well. Brand new, no counterpart. And this one, this is interesting. It, this actually has a counterpart, a classic Warcraft 3. Uh, if you remember the mission, two of the Sargeras, where you are walking with the Maev, you are trying to reach that... Uh, that that's, uh, that chamber where is Illidan, he's already grabbing the Eye of Sargeras, I believe. Uh, she walks around the statue of Ashara. It is really just a night love in the cape. And actually, this is its new model, this here. It's really it look nice. Uh, as well, there's an interesting thing, because already before in the previous videos, I have already covered how the new stage of Ashara will look like, and actually, it was having a different model. Ashara there was looking like more like World of Warcraft Ashara, you know, the tails and everything, stuff like this, and this is, this is her night elf. Oh, sorry, just, just, just an elf form. It's really interesting. Uh, here we have some some more some more of the new doodads from the sunken ruins. This, this things will be found on the uh, what's the name of those islands where where the Maya lands? Uh, it's broken islands. So these things will be here. These are as well brand new, no counterpart in the classic Walker Free. It's always this here whole new structure because actually those ruins. She's traveling through the ruins and those ruins look like they were built by some sea people and actually. By the lore, they were built by the ancient elves, so this this makes more sense now. And this building, this structures will be found on those islands, actually. 
I will have one more here to show. Yes, there it is. I don't exactly know how I'm supposed to call this tower. Uh, this structure here. It's some sort of a tower here. With the statue. Alright, let's go for one of the ones. Uh, this update was really a water update as well. Uh, water returned to the fountains all across the Azeroth. Uh, what was here before, it was actually was very static. I believe that it, this one part in particular was actually totally empty. There was no water here. It was just a solid part. And with this very update, the water was added. It's now nice flowing, looking real nice. Same thing here, there was no water before. Now it is added, nice and flowing. This is our new Reforge waterfalls. I believe that they were added with this patch. I'm not quite sure, but this is how it looks like now. Uh, same thing here for the fountains. Water is flowing now. It was static as well, it was just standing. Nothing was going on. There was water added to Moonwell as well. Uh, yes, all the fountains of, fountains of health, mana and everything. Uh, this is updated to spawning grounds. Water was not here. This is why I put it here close together with the fountains and so on. And as well, I believe that the new training animation was updated. Look at it. It looks really beautiful now. Just all lighting up. It looks really cool. Alright, I can turn it off. Let's go find other ones. Uh, there were some particle updates on a lot of models. Here are just some some of them for showcase. Most of it is water elemental. They are starting they are starting to look a little bit less plastic. So it looks a little bit like a plastic to me, or more like a jelly, to be pr more precise. Uh, similar thing here. I believe that fire on the file order was changed a little bit. I'm not quite certain about it though, but I believe that it was. Uh, yes, the demon gate was definitely updated too. There was not this portal before. It looks really nice now. It looks really polished already. Even that those colors, it's really interesting because this is, this is probably a team color here, but it looks like a sprinkle of blood because I'm red red team, right? Yes, a lot of others. Models were actually changed. Uh, I believe that this particles, this 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 lightning crackling here was added uh, as well here on Avatar of Vengeance. I believe there wasn't those lights floating around. Now they are. Uh, Ghost Keeper of the Grove Ghost model was fixed. It was before just a floating upper body, and here was like nothing. It was just literally walking around that upper body. It was look, it was looking really weird. It looks now polished. As well, the Sylvanas Windrunner Banshee model was changed. I... yeah, well, it's basically the same, but that red color all around the place was added. I know it's, it's probably... it's supposed to indicate that she's a troll. She's now see through, but I don't know, I kinda don't like this new update. It was looking before a little bit better, actually. Here we have Macturidon. I believe that the flames on his head were... Uh, they were actually improved. They were probably already in the game before this update, but I believe they were cha changed with this update. I'm not quite certain about that though, so don't take my word for granted on this one. Uh, here we have Dreadlord. His model is not changed, but actually, actually the animation of New Inferno spell is changed. Uh, yeah, let's check it out. I'll just use it. You know, you see that's landing everything, crackling. It actually looks like a meteor meteorite landing on the ground now. Before you could just see a floating infernal model going down to the ground and hitting it hard. And there was no 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 effect on the ground, no splash and so on. So this was added. Uh, as well, the druid of the claw bear form was fixed. It was small before. It was resized, it's now huge. It's how it's supposed to be. Oh, this was definitely simple for them to upgrade. I would be able to upgrade with the map editor after all. Uh, what do we have here? Yes, I forgot I have forgotten about this one. It's a frostborn pedestal. I believe that, that particle effects were added here as well. It looks way better now. But yeah, you will see just ones in the campaign anyway. What do we have here? We have here some wards. I believe that there was some particle, fire particles added here on the serpent ward. Uh, as well here, healing ward was upgraded. You can see that aura around it. Uh, there are some particles on sand ward as well. Uh, I'm not quite sure if this was added or not, but... Here is now fire on the skull of the skeleton mage. I believe that this was added. Here we have a goblin blaster. Quite a similar thing. I believe that this fire was added. <laughs> I'm not certain though. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't. Uh, this is kind of weird. This is a bane. Uh, they gave him this bottle at this moment. I personally believe that this is still a placeholder really. It's not that he is his, his model. I really, I'm not, not sure what, uh, what this is supposed to be. 
Uh, when I use the corporal, corporal form, he turns into the ordinary spirit walker. When he goes into ethereal form, he turns into pain. I don't know what this means, but this is new. So we have seen it. Uh, there's Spirit Wind Rider. It was updated. It looked really weird before. So it's just a few pieces floating in the air. It's now it's just now looks polished. As well as the, the Spirit Wolves from the spell of the shaman. Or, fa or rather the spell of the fast here. It was changed. They look a little bit better now. Because they look just like simple wolves before, but now they are you see this guy is see through. Yeah, isn't he supposed to use stealth? Uh, I don't know. By the way, they look really like a uh, ethereal, ethereal beings now. It looks really better. All right, well, I think that this is all. This is, I covered everything I wanted to cover. All right, well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video.